morning and happy St. Patrick's Day. Because it's St. Patrick's Day, I think it's important that we look at the Book of Armagh. Because the Book of Armagh was written in 807 AD by Ferdinand of Armagh. Now, St. Patrick himself lived in the 400s or maybe even the late 300s. But that doesn't mean that the Book of Armagh contains something that was just made up. It contains the Confession of St. Patrick. Yeah, it's 400 years later, but this could be a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. I'm talking about the Confession of St. Patrick in the Book of Armagh. This is an amazing document. It's written by St. Patrick himself. You're going to hear it now. I'm going to read it to you now. You'll love it. Here we go. This is St. Patrick. 807, Book of Armagh. Look it up yourself. Link in description below. A young man, almost a beardless boy, I was taken captive before I knew what I should desire and what I should shun. It's talking about how he was captured by pirates and made a slave in Ireland. So consequently today I feel ashamed and I am mightily afraid to expose my ignorance with a small vocabulary. So saying he didn't receive this fancy education because he was a slave so much. And he talks about that here. He says that in Ireland, I used to pasture the flock each day and I used to pray many times a day. More and more did the love of God and my fear of him and my faith increase and my spirit was moved so that in a day from one up to a hundred prayers I said and in the night a like number. So he's there as a slave in Ireland, but he's always praying to the Lord. Besides, I used to stay out in the forests and on the mountain, and I would wake up before daylight to pray in the snow, in icy coldness, in rain. And I used to feel neither ill nor any slothfulness, because as I now see, the spirit was burning in me at that time. So no matter how of things were he kept devoted to the Lord in prayer and that was like a fire burning within him he says I am then first of all country fired an exile evidently unlearned one who is not able to see into the future but I know for certain that before I was humbled I was like a stone lying in a deep mire and he that is mighty came and in his mercy raised me up and indeed lifted me high up and placed me on top of the wall. And from there I ought to shout out in gratitude to the Lord for his great favors in this world and forever that the mind of man cannot measure. One should proceed therefore without holding back from danger to make known the gift of God and everlasting consolation, to spread God's name everywhere with confidence and without fear in order to leave behind after my death foundations for my brethren for so many thousands. So this is uh, the confession of St. Patrick. He lived 400s in the Book of Armar, 400 years later. But I, I think these are the words of St. Patrick, you know. I think they're inspirational. Happy St. Patrick's Day.